The gentleman from Indiana reserves. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to the gentlewoman from Illinois, who's the ranking member of our subcommittee on innovation, data, and commerce, Ms. Schakowsky. The gentlelady is recognized. I thank the gentleman for yielding to me. The um, Freedom for Health Care Workers um, Act, really, freedom? Freedom from what? Um, you know, uh, we know that, uh, that vaccine mandates are absolutely not new. And health care workers are often required to get vaccinated against in infectious diseases for various, uh, various diseases. And, you know, during the pandemic, um, the COVID-19 vaccine allowed our heroic uh, nurses and uh, health care workers to save lives and protect the most vulnerable, in including senior citizens. But you know, we're not done with it yet. People are still getting sick and dying. Um, and if you have a loved one in a nursing home, if you know people, people you care about that are immunocompromised, if you have a child that is in fragile health, don't you want to make sure that when you seek care, that the nurse that is going to be serving them, that the health care provider is going to be safe and not bring that disease, not bring COVID to them. I think this is really a serious mistake that, that we are making. This is not about freedom. This is about health care and doctors, nurses, hospitals, and the American Medical Society believe that requiring COVID-19 vaccines for healthcare workers save lives. Let's do that. Let's save lives, vote no on this legislation. And I yield back.